this is Jamie Marich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little box that holds those little note cards that we made last time. Um, the note cards themselves are the three and a half by five inch cards. And then there's the envelopes that are almost three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And it fits uh, four cards and four envelopes in there. Okay, so let's get started. Put these aside. And I'm using the Happy Hedgehogs again. I bring this in. I do need to move this. I'm going to start, I'm going to make my box um, a different color instead of white. I'm going to start with a 7 uh, or 8.5 by 11 inch piece of cardstock. And I'm going to open up my trimmer here. I'm going to cut it at 7 into 7 by 11. And you'll use both pieces. Because the part that we cut off we're going to use to make the belly band. All right, so seven by eleven. I need my cutting blade. Okay. It's kind of dark. Let me turn some more lights on. I don't know why this one's off. There we go. Thought I had turned it on. Is that better? Not a whole lot. Okay. Well, anyway. We're going to score this on the 11 inch side at 4 inches. Move the cutting blade out of the way. At 4 inches. 4 and 3 quarters. Eight and three quarters, and nine. No, nope, nine and a half. So I'm allowing three quarters of an inch space inside of the box. For the cards. You could probably fit a couple more even. Okay, then we're going to turn it the other way. And we're going to score it at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to do it on this side for this one. Three quarters of an inch. And six and a quarter. We'll just do three quarters of an inch on both sides. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's bring in our snips. And I've made a template. So you can see here. Move this out of the way. Make sure you can. Okay, so this is the oh, this flap here. So before we get too far, let's go ahead and fold and burnish all these score lines. Oh, 
Ooh. Now we're going to these top two rectangles here on both those two are going to get removed. It's two little there's a little square and a little rectangle. And I cut the score line completely out. So on this side I cut to the left of the score line, on this one I cut to the right of the score line. Okay, so just, there you go, and this one here, and trim a little bit there, okay, then we're going to cut up these score lines to that three quarter inch score line, and I'm going to cut to the outside of the score line the outside of the squares score line. Then I'm going to cut a little pie shaped out. A little, see a little tiny piece out? It just makes it go together a little bit neater. Okay. The same thing on the other side. The outside of the score line. out. Okay, so it looks like this. So we're going to bring in our wet glue. We're going to glue this flap. We're going to glue it to the outside of this flap, like that. And then this flap will get glued over all of that to hide it because this will be the front of our box. Okay, and so we're going to put some glue here. We're going to fold this edge up so that this meets the edge of this score line there. Hold it for a second. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Put that glue on the inside of that flap. Fold this up. Fold this edge so that this edge meets that score line. It kind of just goes into that score line. Oh, the other side came apart. Okay. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, so now we're going to put glue on the inside of both of these flaps. I'm just gonna... Okay. Go ahead and close that. Same on this side. I'm going to take my bone folder in there and I'm going to lay it on its side and burnish that down well. Whoops. Oh, it would help if I had it where it was supposed to be. Try that again. It slid on me. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> Let me try that again. There we go. Well, that looks pretty good. All right, so that is the box. Now to close the box, we're going to need a belly band. I'm going to put my cards inside it, just to give it a little bit of support. Okay, and I'm going to start on this like that, and I'm going to put a crease there. And I'm going to fold it very neatly over. Make sure the edges line up, give it a good burnish so that it's a nice crease. And then I'm going to go to the next 
side. And we'll do the same thing and we'll do it all the way around. You don't want it to be too tight because you want to be able to slide it off. Just make sure that these edges are nice and neat. You don't want it cattywampus. on my fingers. Okay. I'm going to have to add a little glue there. All right, so we're going to put this on here like this. Now we're going to put glue on the end, the top end of this one, and the back end of this one. Just a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue here. And line up those sides again. Again, don't do it too tightly because you want to be able to take it off. But you want it tight enough that it's going to hold the box closed. Okay, so there's the box. Now let's make that piece that goes on top of it. And I brought in some, it's a retired ribbon use any ribbon you have but this is the right color it is pink petal pink and whisper white variegated ribbon and I'm just going to tie a bow over on this side over here as close to this side as I can I'm just turning my ribbon because one side is a little bit brighter than the other. So I want that side to be up. Just fluff that bow a little bit. Let's trim this. So definitely paper snips. I need to keep a pair for ribbon, but I always forget. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of stamping and coloring. Let's do it just like we did on the cards the other day. I have two layers. I have a piece of white, which is two and three quarters by four inches, a piece of granny apple green, which is three by four and a quarter. And we're going to bring in our memento ink. Where did it go? Oh, under here. Okay. I'm going to bring in this tree. Ink this up. Since it's a big one, I like to bring my ink pad to my stamp. For me, it's just easier to get a good coverage. Stamp that right in the middle. Very nice. That's all the stamping. Okay, I'm going to bring the three blends. Oh, there's my bone folder. I had it put aside. Okay, I've got the petal pink, um, light pumpkin pie, and the granny apple. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to do it probably a little different. I'm going to take the dark petal pink, and I'm going to just put a little bit of dark petal pink down towards the bases, and I'm using the bullet tip. You can do it the other way around like I did on the other card. Really doesn't matter. Whatever works. Just get that color in there. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to bring the light petal pink and just blend in those, just add the color where there isn't any. Okay, I'm going to bring in the daffodil delight to the center of those flowers. You know what, I'm going to bring this dark again because I want just a little bit more dark on there. Sorry, the rubber band is so I can keep the colors together. Okay, and then the granny apple, I'm going to do the dark first. Let's go a little dark. One side or towards the bottom. branch part, scribble the grass, bring in the light granny apple and fill in the rest of the leaves. Oops, let's use the other tip. It's, these are such small areas. I think this works best. I kind of missed all together, but it's all right, it works. And that's just a little bit of light grass. Okay, now I'm going to bring in that pumpkin pie. I'm just going to put a little bit on the stem right over the green. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my wet glue and I'm going to hit, adhere this to the three by four and a quarter inch piece of granny apple green. Okay, I'm going to bring this box back in. Oops, well, that would help if that's if it stayed adhered. I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. This is going to go right in the center here, like this. But you only want the adhesive to be on the, the strip here. And this is also going to help hold the ribbon in. So I'm going to put one here, one here. And I'm going to put one kind of over the edge of the ribbon here on this middle. And then I'm going to put one more. Those backings off. Come on. Put this on the front of the card centered. Tuck it under this bow. There you go, there's our box. And which one do you like better, the uh, petal pink version or the white version? I'm not sure. I kind of like the petal pink, but I like the white too with the crispness of it. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.